Hello. 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 Yes, Can you I'm hear me? Good evening. This is Emma Franks from Publishers Clearinghouse. How are you feeling? Who is this? You're speaking with Miss Emma Franks from Publishers Clearinghouse, sweetheart. Is this really Publishers Clearinghouse? Yes, it is, ma'am. We tried to call you from yesterday, and you, you called and you left us a message. So we're just returning that call once more. Are you a scammer? No, ma'am. And what, what do you mean, scammer? I ain't buying nothing you're selling. Stop calling my phone. No, I'm not selling you anything, sweetheart. You want something from Publishers Clearinghouse. What? Could you repeat that, please? You want $7.5 million in a brand new car from Publishers Clearinghouse. You're going to have to talk louder. Stop mumbling. I can't tell what the hell you're saying. Are you hearing me better now? Hello? Yes. Are you hearing me better now? Yes. Okay, I'm saying this is Emma Franks, Publishers Clearinghouse. You won $7.5 million in a brand new car. Oh, 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 Lord. I'm so excited. I think I might pee my pants. No, well, you don't need to pee your pants, sweetheart. I just want to say congratulations, okay? Yes. And how are you feeling to know that you have won this? Well, I'm having a great day, and I'm blessed by the Lord to be alive. That's that's good. That's the greatest thing. Being alive is the greatest thing in this world. Okay, so again, congratulations to you, sweetheart. And it's my pleasure to advise you that you're now officially a millionaire, okay? Is this really Publishers Clearinghouse? Yes, honey, it is Publishers Clearinghouse. Why would I call you to run a Joe Curry gimmick on you? I am 82 years old. Okay, I know. And do you still drive? Yes. Okay, and you do all of your businesses for yourself, right? Yes. Okay, because we're supposed to be coming at your doorstep with this ride, and I don't want you to feel like this is a joke, ma'am. This is not a joke. I'm not lying to you. It's not a joke, okay? This is a legitimate call coming from a legitimate company. Please, I hope you grasp this with both hands, and I hope you make good use of it, okay? Are you still there? Yes. Yes, and how are you feeling to know that you're a millionaire today? I'm so excited, I think I might pee my pants. Okay, well, I don't want you to pee your pants, okay? And I can't wait to meet you in person because we're going to be delivering this at your house, okay? You sound like one of them Jamaican scammers. No, ma'am, I'm not. I don't even know where, where in the world is Jamaica. What company did you say you're working for? Publishers Clearing House. Are you still there? What the hell is your name? Emma Franks. What did you say? What is this all about? You won seven and a half million dollars in a brand new car. Is you calling to try to sell me something? No, I'm calling you to give you what you have won. Are you a scammer? No, sweetie, I'm not. What? Could you repeat that, please? I'm saying no, I'm not a scammer. I'm a legitimate person calling you from a legitimate company. You sound like one of them Jamaican scammers. I want to hold one of those Jamaican scammers to cut them up. They're they're, they're scammers and crooks. You be careful of them, okay? I'm sure what you're saying means something, and it sounds like you even believe it. Be careful of those Jamaican scammers. You got to be careful of them because you're rich now, okay? Yeah, so be careful of those unscrupulous guys. So the only thing you're going to be doing is writing a check for $70,075, all right? What? You're going to be writing a check to the IRS for $7,500. Oh, is that all the taxes? Yes, $7,500. And can you afford to pay that on your own? Well, I've, I've got it in the Bank of America. Yes, the only thing you would do is write a check to the IRS for your taxes because we're going to deposit this money in your Bank of America account, okay? Uh, how much do you say I won? $7 million. Lord, that's a lot of money. Yes, it is. Uh, once I write that there check, uh, oh. then what? Not, we're going to be showing up at your doorstep tomorrow evening, okay? Lord have mercy. Oh, I can't believe it. So all I want you to do, my sweetheart, remember you're an elder lady. I want you to keep your business to yourself and be careful, okay? 
yes, 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 yes. Do not tell anybody whatsoever your business, not even your kids. Keep your business to yourself because there's a lot of fraud and there's a lot of scams going on out there, okay? Well, they would want to steal my money if they knew it. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So tomorrow morning... You're going to write a check for the 7000 and you're going to put it in the mailbox so it can head to the IRS. And then I'm going to come at your house and we're going to go to the bank together to, to deposit the money in your account, okay? You want me to mail it today? The mail ain't, oh, I have to, today's a holiday, ain't it? Yes, we're going to do it tomorrow morning. Let me get a piece of paper out. Hold on. No, I'll call you in the morning for you to do it because there's Why? no mail running today. So we do it tomorrow, okay? Well, I'm going to write it all down. No, what I'm saying is I'll call you in the morning and I will give you everything that you need, okay? Are you hearing me? Yeah. Oh, see, I'm saying don't worry yourself. I'm going to call you in the morning and I will give you all the information that you need, okay? You don't have to worry about anything, okay? Oh, this is a joke, ain't it? No, it's not, ma'am. Why would I? Why would you think this is a joke? Why, why, why are you telling me you're going to call me tomorrow? Yes, because remember, today's a holiday, and tomorrow is when we're coming at your house. We're coming tomorrow, so I said I'm going to call you in the morning so you can get yourself together, and we can meet up, and then we can go and deposit the check in your account. Well, then give me all the information today, then. No, what I'm saying to you is, sweetheart, we're waiting for some information from the IRS. So once the IRS give us those information, we'll give you first thing in the morning, okay? Oh, well, if, if, it, if it ain't happening, yes, you, you ain't you still live giving in Virginia, me the information, right? If you ain't giving me the information today, it must be a prank. Don't call old people no, pranking no, them no, now. No, That's listen, not nice. Calm down and listen. Listen. Calm down and listen. I'm not pranking you. I'm not lying to you. Just relax yourself. Everything is going to be okay, okay? Stop worrying yourself. I'm not lying to you, and I'm not pranking you, okay? Then why don't you have the information now? No, because remember, we have to send legal documents over to the IRS. And remember, today's a holiday, so the IRS office is not open. So I have to wait until tomorrow morning, and they will give me the information I'm supposed to give you, Okay. I'm not lying to you, sweetheart. Don't well, worry. we'll see. All right. You call me tomorrow then. I ain't going to answer. I know, I know you're just scared that you might not hear back from me tomorrow, but you're going to hear back from me because I'm not lying to you, okay? I don't believe you. I know you I don't, I don't believe I'm gonna you. Prove this to you. I'm going to prove this to you, and you're the same one who's going to hug me and say sorry. If I really won, I'm going to write the check, I'm going to drive down the post office, and I'm going to put it in the mailbox right now. I'm not lying to you. I'm not lying to you. Here is what I'm going to do for you then, okay? We have a past winner that won three months ago, and she was just as scared as how you were right now. So I'm going to have that elderly lady. She's just as elderly as you. I'm going to have that elderly lady call you, and you can talk to her and see that I'm not lying to you, okay? I don't want you to... No, if you, ain't got the inf you. if you ain't got the information ready, then I think this is a break. I don't need to talk to nobody no, else. I can make my own decision. Just relax yourself. You don't just even know the address where I send the check. Yeah, you live, you live in Virginia. Well, you don't even know the address where I'm supposed to send the check. No, remember, I have to wait for the IRS to tell me so I can tell you. And remember, today's a holiday. The IRS office is oh, not open well, today. I think that's a lie. If you don't have it today, yeah, then I'm you not, don't have it. Goodbye. I have it, sweetheart, and I'm going to give Goodbye. it to you in the morning. I'm not, I uh, no, don't, 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 don't call me again. If you don't have it now, then I don't believe well, you. Goodbye. Hello. Listen, ma'am, don't hang up on me. Hold on. Here's the manager, okay? I don't want to talk to the manager. If you don't have the Why information, I, d I don't I believe it. To get on the phone, so he can give you the information now. Relax yourself. Hello? Hello? Yes, ma'am, I'm hearing you loud and clear. Are you hearing me? Yes. Okay, now listen to me and listen to me very clearly. No one wants anything from you. We don't want any money from you. We don't want nothing from you. And this is not a lie. This is not a game. This is not a joke. This is not a gimmick. All right, you have won this prize fairly and squarely. It is yours. The only way you do not receive it is unless you decide that you do not want it. Okay, ma'am? This is a legitimate call coming from a legitimate company. And we're going to be handing you a legitimate prize. No one here is lying to you.
Well, she didn't even know the name. She didn't even know the address where I send the taxes. No, he didn't. listen. She has everything. We have everything for you, ma'am. Don't do that. Don't get upset and get frustrated. No one's lying to you. You don't need to get upset or you don't need to get frustrated. Okay. All, All right. right. Are you still there? Yeah. Yes, I'm here. Yeah. Just put a smile on your face. You're an elderly lady. Don't get yourself worked up or get yourself confused, ma'am. We're not calling you to hurt you or to tell you a lie or to run a joke or a gimmick on you. I would never do that. All right. Okay. So the reason why the agent was telling you that she had to wait for the information is because it's going to the IRS. Today's a, it's Veterans Day. So you know no government facility is going to be open today. You understand? So no, I don't understand how she can't know the address right now of the of where I no, send a check. How can she not know? She know that makes it seem like no, a prank. No, sweetheart, we have the information, but we have to wait for the IRS to confirm with us. All right, well, so you, we call me tomorrow. Uh, you call me tomorrow. You call me tomorrow then. Stop worrying about it. Stop All right. About it, okay? You don't know what you're talking about. You don't have it either. I have it. You want it now? Get something to write with. I told her I wanted to do it right now. But you can't write a check right now. Today's a holiday. I I can write a check on a holiday. What do you mean? But it's not, it's not going to go out today. That's what I'm saying. It'll go out tomorrow morning? Yeah, so that's the reason why she was telling you she would call you first thing in the morning. All right, well, if you don't know, that's fine. I know, but I'm. listen, just stop worrying yourself. Everything is okay, all right? Hello? I'm right here. Okay, ma'am, so just look for me to call you back in a couple of minutes with the information, okay? Oh, 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 all right. Everything is okay. I'm not lying to you. I don't need to lie to you. I'm, I'm a grown man. You're a grown woman. I would never call a grown up senior citizen to hurt them or to run a joke on them. I would never do that. To okay. You. Well, it seemed yeah, like y'all, y'all didn't know what you was talking about. No, I would not do that, ma'am. We would not do that. Remember, this is a lot of money that you're getting. So we have to make sure that you're safe, and we have to make sure that you're doing this in the right and proper way. Well, when you call somebody, you should have all your information ready, or it seems like we you do don't know what you're talking now, about. We still have to confirm with the IRS. All right. Okay, so just stop, stop worrying yourself. Everything is going to be okay. Just stay close to your phone because we will be calling you back this evening, okay? Okay. All right. Bye bye. This is the only phone number. This is the only phone number that you have. You don't have. Yes, it number. is. This is the only phone number. And this is your cell phone number, right? Or yes, it phone? is. My cell phone. See the cell phone? Okay. Okay. All right, now, I'm going to make sure that I have your name spelled correctly on the check because we don't want to spell your name correctly mistakenly on the check. So spell your first name, first and last name for me just to make sure we have it on the check correctly. Uh, J-A-N-I-C-E. Yes, that's Janet. That's right. W-I-L-S-O-N. Okay, that is exactly how we have it. And you don't have a middle initial, right? I don't use one, no. No, sir, I don't. Okay, please, I'm asking you, ma'am, please don't get upset or worry yourself. I'm not calling you to lie to you. I'm not calling you to run a joke or a gimmick on you, okay? You did win this prize, ma'am, and we will be delivering it at your doorstep, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah, stay close to your phone because I'm going to have someone very, very important call you in about five minutes from now, okay? Who? Pardon? Who's going to call me? Okay, there's this lady, she won three months ago. Her name is Nelms. She's 80-something years old, all right? She was just as upset and scared as how you were. Look, you don't, don't need to do hands, that. Right? You don't need to do that. All no, you need to I do... Want you to be, no, listen, Rita, listen. I just want you to be comfortable, and I just want you to understand what's going on. I don't want you to be jumping to a conclusion, thinking that people are trying to rip you off or lying to you or running a joke on you. I want you to be happy, and I want you to be comfortable, all right? So just, just let me do my job, ma'am, and just work with me, and you can thank me later when I have this delivered to you. Okay? I'll talk to her after I know that you have all the information I'm supposed to get. Because right now I think you don't have all the information I'm supposed to just have. calm down. Just calm down. Stop getting yourself worked up. Look for the call in five minutes and stop worrying yourself. Everything is going to be okay. All right? You're a millionaire now. You're supposed to be happy. Well, I ain't yet. I ain't got the money yet. Well, you, you, the, the check is already in your name. It's your money. Even if it takes a year for you to get it, it's still yours. It's yours. Your but I do want to pay the taxes. I don't want no IRS trouble. I don't want no trouble from the IRS. Yeah, exactly, ma'am. And we don't want to put you in any problem. So that's the reason why we have to do things professionally. We cannot just rush into anything and then we have problems later on and you can blame us. 
Well, I had some trouble with the IRS years ago, and I don't want any more trouble with them. I want to pay what's due. And I don't want to get you into that problem either. So I want to do do things easily and safely and smoothly. So just be patient with me and don't worry yourself. I don't want to get no trouble with the government. And no problem whatsoever, okay? So just stay close to your phone. And I'm gonna have a call we send to you in like five minutes, and just answer the phone and be uh, nice. I, I don't want to talk to that lady. Just call me back when you have the information. What time tomorrow would you be putting it into the mailbox? What time does your mail I'm gonna have? drive it down to the post office right now and put it in the box down there. Okay, here is the information. Well, hold on. Get a... I don't put things out in my mailbox because people steal mail. Oh, you, oh, you just take it to the post office. I take it down to the post office and I put it in the official box down there. Oh, okay, I understand now. That's the reason why you wanted to do it from tonight. That's right. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, ma'am. I, we, it's just a simple misunderstanding. That's okay. I apologize, too. Okay, what, what do okay, I need to know? Okay, the name of the accountant that you're going to make the payment to, I'm going to give her her name and I'm going to give her her address, her address and everything, all right? And you said seven thousand. Seven thousand five hundred, to be exact. Seven thousand five hundred. A regular yeah. check. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. You ready for the name that you're going to Yes, put on I've it? got my paper here. Yes. Okay. The name of the accountant is Nell. It's her first name is Nell. That's N E L L. Okay. Yes, yeah, the last name. Okay. So write the check. Make it out to Nell. Put it in an envelope. When you're ready for the address, you let me know. Okay. Well, I'm writing it on my paper here first. Oh, okay. All right, so I have 7,500 the All right. And the address is 40. And you're going to have street. Okay. And the city is El Dorado. So you're going to have a capital E, capital L for L. And you're going to have a space. And you're going to write Dorado. And Dorado is D O. R A D O. All right. In the, the state that the payments goes to for 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 lottery winnings, it's Arkansas. Arkansas. I ain't never been to Arkansas. What's the zip so code? You can have a cap. Zip code is seven one seven three zero. Seven one seven three zero. Okay, wonderful. So make out the check. I'm going to be on the phone with you to assist you in every step of the way because I have a lot more information to provide to you this evening, okay? I just, oh, well, I just okay. Well, I don't need help I'm writing the check, so go ahead and give no, me the no, information. I'm just, no, I'm just saying, no, listen, listen to me, sweetheart. Listen, calm down. You're going to make out the check, get it to the post office, and when you get back home, you call me I, so I can provide you with some information when you're home. And oh, home. gotcha. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll do that. You, have, you see my number on your screen? And you're sure I won $7 million. Ma'am, I can't. Ma'am, listen to me, listen to me, Miss Wilson. I would never lie to an elder citizen. I would never do that to you, All right, ma'am? And you will be meeting us in person. You, you can shake my hand. You can hug me. You can do whatever you want. I'll never go out of my way to hurt you. I'll never tell you a lie. And I can see here where you have been entering our competition for a couple of years now. Well, that's All true. Right? Very this true. Is your time of redemption, ma'am. I just want you to be happy and stop worrying. I'm not going to hurt you, ma'am. I would never put you in harm's way. I promise you, I would never do that. I, I appreciate that. Okay, just work with me, and please, ma'am, be very, very careful. This is a lot of money that you're getting in the next couple of days from now. All right, keep your business. It sure is. I never tell, dreamed I'd have that nobody, much money. Yes, do not tell nobody whatsoever your business. No one. Not even oh, your man. left hand. What your right hands know, you don't let your left hand know. There's All something right? about that in the Bible. <laughs> Pardon? I think there's something about that in the Bible. Exactly, exactly. Because guess what? Money make friends and money break friends. You understand? Sometimes you tell people your business, then someone is going to want to come and take all of it and control all of it. And then you see nothing out of it. You understand? I do. All right. Yeah. yeah. But do your business professionally. And I will take care of you. And I promise you, when I meet you, you're going to say thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. Write down my name so you can remember who I am. Anderson. What's your first name? Robert. Robert. That's a nice name. Okay, now how long would it take you to get to the post office and get back home? Oh, I'm going to put my shoes on and head on down there about uh, 30 minutes. Okay, do you want to keep me on the phone since it's your cell phone? Oh, no, 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 no. That's all right. I sing in the car, so... Uh...
I don't need you listening to that. Oh, you're, oh, you're right. in car. You're sitting in your car when you're driving. Oh yeah, and sometimes I get angry and are yell at good, people. Are you, are you a good singer? Oh no, not at all. Okay. Well, we start off on the wrong foot, Miss Wilson. Um, I, and I want this to be something that's happy for you, and I want it to be something that's life changing for you. Okay. Yes, yes, so yes, please, yes. Please, appreciate this and grasp it with both hands. And I, I, I will. will meet you in person. I will. It's okay. gonna be terrific. All right. All so right. Go get, go get it. What time is it there now in your state? Uh, five o'clock. Okay. And the, okay. Okay. So you can go to the post office, drop it in the mail. When you get back home, you can just give me a call right away. Please. I will. Your call, all right? I will. And you have my number on your screen? I wrote it down on my, on my paper here. Okay. Repeat it for me just to make sure you have it correctly. 3105885. Wonderful. Please drive safely for me on the road. Please be Yes, careful, sir. Right? Make sure yes, sir. Yes, indeed. Get back home, all right? Yes. Thank you very all much. Right. All right. I'm waiting on your call. Thank right. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, hi, y'all. It's Trixie. I have a few things to tell you about this call. Let's start with Nell the merchant banker I'm writing the check to. It turns out that Nell is a very sweet 82-year-old widow in Arkansas who has been scammed several times. Victim advocates were able to get in touch with her and work her through getting disconnected from the scammers. I love a happy ending. This is why I do what I do. Now, if you've listened to my other videos, you probably noticed a totally different tone to my voice with this call. I have been working on making a soundboard with this character for some friends to use for fun on some calls. I started this call testing out the soundboard recordings of my voice. A few minutes into the call, I started to see that the scammer was going to stick around for a while, so I had to take over live. Tell me what you think about this character in the comments. Subscribers are the fuel that keep a YouTube channel going, so please find that subscribe button and click it. See you next time.